Better to dry stockings and everything. Oh, it's, it, it's bad luck to have a woman in the engine room. Tuscan, what harm can their clothes do? Hey, that's when they're the most dangerous. They're like snakes. When they shed their skin, look out. Could I have my back scrubber, please? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, Tuscan, I guess they have to dry their clothes somewhere, and yours must be the most logical place. So oh. deal with it the best way you can, will you? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, Captain. That's right. Carry on. Wouldn't need to dry. Now look, I'm a machinist, mate. I ain't a, a laundry feeler. Sailor? Yes, ma'am? Please try not to knock anything down. I wouldn't want it to land on this dirty floor. What's great? The whole engine room. Look at that grease. Hey, if you was bombed and sunk and pulled up by your stern, you'd be a little greasy, too. I was raised with it. My father was chief engineer at the Seattle Power Plant. That would work if you didn't saw a new valve spring. My father was a chief engineer. Hey, look, lady, in the first place, I'm trying to make do with something that don't even belong in a submarine. In the second place, you can't install a new valve spring if you ain't got it. Now, will you get out of here? You're talking to an officer. Maybe Congress made you an officer, but God made you a woman and... A woman just shouldn't mess around with a man's machinery. Now for the last time, get out, will you? Good morning, sir. May I pour you a cup of coffee, sir? No, never mind. I'll attend to it. You go ahead. All right, sir. Have the women finished breakfast? Yes, sir. Pardon me. I, I think I left my cigarette here. Did you see it? Perhaps. Oh. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, that's all right, Lieutenant. I enjoy a cigarette with my coffee. Hmm. Oh, thanks. Is uh, that all you're having for breakfast? Oh, well, I'm a little nervous. I don't feel much like eating. Captain, I hope you won't mind a little professional advice, but, well, when a person is nervous and irritable, oh. you can be sure there's something he's not getting enough of. Hmm? Vitamins and minerals. Oh, vitamins and minerals. Yeah, with proper nutritional balance, you wouldn't have any gray hair at all. Oh, well, I like having gray hair. That way I can worry without it showing. <laughs> I used to be just like you. What, gray hair? No, I mean, run down and, oh, and I had such a poor appetite. You did? Mm -hmm. But then I started to take these pills that I have here, and they really built me up. Oh, no question about it. Well, all you have to take are one every three hours. Oh, one. Well, you're very kind, Lieutenant. I appreciate the offer, but I'm a busy man. I'd probably forget it. I'll remind you. After all, you're the captain, and it wouldn't do to have you get sick, too. Oh, but sick, too? Who's sick? Most of the men. Lieutenant Colfax and Reed are taking care of them. Oh, oh. Lieutenant Crandall, excuse me. Well, you look pretty good to me. I don't feel so good. There's a stomach and uh, I feel well, a little woozy. Uh, you lie down over there for a minute. Oh. Just keep that mm. under your tongue. Mm. All right? Just, just over there. No, what's the matter with you? I've got a headache. Williams? My back hurts, my stomach. Me... What's wrong? Oh, I don't know, sir. I feel terrible. You smell good. What about you, Harmon? Oh, I have these shooting pains in my head, sir. 
They're probably the fumes from that hair tonic. Yes, sir. Hmm. And you, Fox, what have you got on? Uh, it's called surrender, sir. My mother sent it to me. Come on, break it up. Let's neutralize that cologne with some perspiration. <laughs> oh, and even our pharmacist mate. Well, what's the matter, Dooley? Well, he seems to Just have a... Just a minute. Mm. I don't know, sir. I only hope I can last the day out. Oh. Up, Dooley! <laughs> Thank you, ladies. They won't be needing you anymore. The epidemic's over. Oh, oh. I'm turning my coffee. Oh, oh, you forgot your vitamin pill. Oh, thank you very much. I'll remind you when it's time for the next one. Uh, yes. yes. Lieutenant Crandall, I, uh... Oh. Mr. Watson? Yes, sir? Pass the word to the crew. When Lieutenant Crandall... You know Lieutenant Crandall. Mm -hmm. Well, when Lieutenant Crandall walks through any part of the boat, I want her to be given clear passage. Right, sir. Okay. How's Mr. Holden coming with torpedo instructions? Well, I decided we'd make better headway if he read the basic submarine manual first. He's in his cabin reading it. Good. Uh, Am I going down right? Uh, sorry. Is she going down right, is she? She sure is. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Holden's been showing me around, explaining how everything works. Now, uh, he's been explaining. We're just on our way to the maneuvering room. Mm. I'm afraid Mr. Holden won't be able to maneuver this morning. Don't you have a book to read? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on Chapter 5, actually. Uh, care and Operation of the Bilge Pump. Oh, that's nice. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Oh, you'll like it. It turns out happily. They get each other in the end. <laughs> and you're off to Captain? Yeah, what is it, Dalton? It's either hull on me in a sinking room. I'll be right there. It works. You're just too stubborn to admit it. Get that thing out of my engine room. Look, Major. Enough is enough. This is a subject. Look at what she did, sir. It's only temporary until we can make a valve spring. We? We? What do you mean, we? I'll draw up the design. You can turn it out. Excuse me. Oh. What are you going to do about it, sir? By the way, it works, doesn't it? Yeah, but I'm here all day. That thing going up and down? That's undecent. Engine room. Is the captain there? What is it, Madame Frey? Better come up to the yeoman's office, sir. What's wrong? It's Lieutenant Reed. She just hit Hunkel. Hit Hunkel? I'll be right there. Hit Hunkel? So what are you going to do about her, sir? Oh, just keep an eye on there, Tostin. Well, I'm sure it wasn't intentional, ma'am. I know, it's just that I've never seen anything like that before on a man. Mr. Hunkel? I'm sorry. That's all right, Lieutenant. Oh, yes, sir. All right, Hunkel, what happened? Well, well, there's nothing at all, really, sir. Then why did you hit him? Well, it's my fault, sir. See, I, I was changing my shirt. No, I went in to borrow the typewriter. I had my shirt off, sir. That's oh. when she hit me. Well, it was just a reflex action. I, w I was embarrassed, and... Uh, if you'll excuse me. Uh, look, I'll go. Uh, keep that pin-up chest of yours covered. I've got enough trouble. I will, sir. Have torpedo room calling the captain. What is it, Alman? What do I do with Lieutenant Colfax? Now, uh, what's wrong? She's dizzy, sir. I think she's getting seasick. Dizzy. She insists she's got the bends. I'll be right there. It's amazing how compact everything is. Yeah. Uh, on a sub, you've got to learn how to operate in close quarters. I think we'd better be going. Going where? Well, Nick, haven't you got some reading to do? How old are you, Barbara? Twenty-four. You're certainly a nervous 24. Look at yourself. You're all tense. Your pulse is beating fast. Your hands are cold. We've got to do something about all these symptoms. I'm afraid the cure might be worse than the disease. Barbara, dear, you're a nurse. You know how it is with people. It's like a teapot. 
build a fire under it, pressure builds up in the...